I want to talk about CTR manipulation, so click-through rate manipulation. And often people make a big deal out of this, that you have to use a bunch of tools and a bunch of different things, but in reality, this is super easy and there's no need to complicate it. So first of all, what is CTR? What is click-through manipulation? Click-through rate manipulation, it's basically the process of hiring a bunch of bots or people to search for your keyword, then scroll down, look for your business and click it thousands of times or hundreds of times, depends. This works, this works both for organics and for GMB listings, okay? The same, so go down here and click here, your business a bunch of times. So, so the process is simple. People go to Google, search for your keyword, scroll down until they find, until they find your business. Here it is, they click it, they, it opens up your website and they stay a couple of seconds on there, like 60 seconds, 40 to 60 seconds on there. They scroll down, browse around your website, and then they go, just like a regular visit. And what this does is it tells Google that your result is most, more valuable than others. So say you search for dentists, dentists in NYC. If uh, more people throughout the times end up clicking on the second result than on the first, eventually this will swap because Google thinks, so why am I showing this guy first if this is the one that gets all the clicks? So this is why click-through rate is important. This is why having an optimized title and meta description is important as well, just like we talked about in a previous video. So there's a bunch of things that you can do to improve your click-through rate, things that are actually within Google's guidelines, which are like the optimization of the title and the meta description and URL and others. And then there's, of course, manipulations you can do, which is hire a bunch of people to click your result instead of the guy that's first. And eventually, again, if many people click this one over this one, Google will swap you and put you on top because, of course, Google will give priority to the site people click most. And so how can you do this? Of course, you can do it manually. You can talk to your friends to do it for you, or you can use software or people. So there's a software, there's a bunch of softwares. You can use this one. As you can see, it's quite expensive, but this is an investment and this does work. Click-through rate manipulation does work. And on top of all the things you did to optimize your GMB and your local site, if you do a CTR on top of it, manipulation, it will make the difference. This software is a bit expensive because there's a bunch of different features it allows you to do. Uh, you can search from different locations nearby your area. Um, you can use credits. There's a credit system. It's a bit more complicated and has a bunch of features, which is great. This software is great. Or if you don't want to spend that much money, you can start off by hiring people on micro workers. For example, this is, where, uh, this is a site where you pay like people 10, 20 cents to do small and repetitive tasks for you. So you hire a bunch of people here on microworkers.com. You can register and post a job, super, super simple. You would say like, for example, I need you to search for, and I can even write an example here. So the title would be something like CTR manipulation, the title of the job, manipulation. And then the description would be something like, I need you to search for your keyword here and, and find my business name of the business here and then of course you also need to tell them where they should be searching from you need to be searching from location okay and they'll be using pro again they'll be using proxies but you can also write it here you need to please use proxies Okay, and of course you can write a bunch more things here, but if you write this, people will understand what you, need, what you need. It's straightforward. So you need to search for your keyword and find the business. Search for this location, of course. You click it and spend X amount of time there, and then close out of the site. Something like this. I need 100 clicks per month. That's around four, three, yeah, that's around three, four clicks per day. You can even put, say, for example, I'd prefer the time and the time zone to be GMT or whatever you, you feel like it. So write like a detailed description of what you what are actually the actionable steps. So go here, search from here, search for this keyword, click on this listing from this business, spend X amount of time, then close. So you can write sort of a, a job post and these, these guys right here are super cheap. Like you can get, if I'm not mistaken, 10, 20 cents per click or even less. Depends, of course, on the amount of clicks uh, you're uh, asking for. 
and if they're using quality proxies or not. Uh, but yeah, this is a way to do it. Again, this is the other way to do it, the software, which is much more expensive due to the features and the functionalities. And then you can also use something like this, these guys. It's sort of similar to micro workers, but it's, it has more of a panel. And if you search for Google here, let's do Portugal right here. And as you can see, this is basically the same, the same thing. Uh, but yeah, so you can use software uh, and sites like these. This is, again, people complicate this more than it needs to be complicated. It's super, super easy. There are softwares and there's uh, sites like Microworkers or if you or if you even Google search for CTR manipulation software or CTR manipulation services, you'll find a bunch of services that do this for you. Uh, all of them work. Just want to make sure that people are actually following your rules. The most important being, of course, of course clicking your business and the location they're searching from because if, you're ha if you have a business in New York City, you don't want to have, for example, people from across Europe searching for your business and trying to find it because that doesn't make any sense and Google will immediately know that this is some sort of a click farm. So make sure you track these using some sort of test runs. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. CTR click-through rate manipulation. Again, just to recap, what this will do is that if you have a bunch of clicks on your website, that's ranking second. And if you have more clicks than the guys that's in first for a certain keyword, you'll eventually outrank them. And this works as well for your GMBs. Again, super, super simple. A bit expensive, of course. This is one of the most expensive things you can do uh, that, that actually bring in results, but it's something that people talk about and also wanna, I wanted to cover this in, in the course. And uh, yeah, that's it.